matron take them away. Okay, guys, hope you're well. Um, following on from the chitter chatter in the Discord regards um, Darwin X and Prop and etc., um, I've made you a little tool that you can use and you can kind of work your way through it and see whether or not it's worth carrying on or even just for you, well, just for you to play with, to be honest. Um, when you look at Darwin X, Darwin X is based like an investment fund similar to Vanguard. It's looking for 10, 15% a year. And that growth would then be sold out to investors who are just looking for safe money. That's the essence of what Darwin is. And it's almost similar to my Vanguard that you see me build up. Now I'll, I'll show you that. Now in the interview that I did with one this week, it was kind of polarizing in the, the comments. Some loved it, some hated it, but I think some missed the essence of what they're trying to achieve. Automatically, people will kick off. If they don't like something, they just dismiss it and they have a go and they say it's this and it's that and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. There's a simple answer to everything. You always have a choice. You don't have to use it. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. You don't like a certain broker, use a different broker. Don't like the prop industry, don't use the prop industry. Don't like what you watch, change the channel. Common sense. Now, I asked one what he thought of my platform and he showed it. Um, well, well, here. I'm still getting my head around this. I really am. The trading side is fine. I, I trade the same day in, day out. And, I, and I'm yeah. not really bothered if somebody likes it or they don't. Yeah. Because I stage backwards into a trade and then move it forward. It, mm -hmm. It's how I always do it. And I work on risk profiles. And it, it's essentially 10% a week across five days, which is 2% a day across two trades, which is 1% a trade. Which that's is roughly how I work the profile. Actually, you've seen that, like the rocks, like I've never, I've rarely seen... Uh, a curve of like risk uh, as stable as yours so that's great mm -hmm. but that's how i do it, it it's just and I, and I treat it no different than i treat my own account you know come in all right i'm not aggressive with it because i don't need to be and i'm certainly not going to push the board out on it you know because again it takes up a tremendous amount of my time i've just spent four months doing this for you and again, I didn't want to do it. It's the same as with prop. I never wanted to do prop either. I did it for you guys, but I can't speak unless I've done it. And I hope that makes sense. Now, if I flick this over and we, we're talking sort of things that we do together, there's the, the black bull that we set up. Um, I'm using the hedge version of it so that I've, I've got maneuverability if I need to. And it's currently sitting at 247.44. Now, if we go into the history and I take this back to when we started it, which was, it was about the 9th of January, wasn't it? Was it? I think, I think that's it. There it is there. Okay. So it's steady growth all the way down. Boom, 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 boom. Steady. Have some bad days, have some good days. But ultimately, it's paid off. So I'm quite happy with that. And that's all journaled here. And the idea of this is to give you an idea of what slow, steady growth can do. Because if you think you're going to turn that into millions, it's a mountain to climb, guys. It really is. But slow, steady growth will get you there. And I'll show you the Vanguard in just a second. So this account is up 23%. There's not a bank in the land will give you that. Not a bank. So that's its first job. So I targeted sort of low, low key targets, you know, 5% a month, 10% a month. Um, this month I'm going to be targeting 10%. So what does that mean? Well, it means I only need to pull in 
24 quid to get that. Well, what's that say? So if I round that up to 25, all I've got to do is a pound 15 a day to get me 10%. That's it. Because I don't want to stress the account. I've got my bid sizes in place. I can actually have that at point two, okay? Because max is 25. It's a MT5 platform, goes up in increments of 10. So that's me set for the month. So what does slow, steady growth do? Well, you've seen me set up an account about 18 months ago. Maybe it's, maybe it's a bit longer. Where I built one of these up, bought a prop, and then put the prop into the Vanguard for it to grow. Well, there's the Vanguard. It's growing quite well. It's currently got nearly three grand's worth of profit in it. This will generate 9 to 11% a year. And I'll be quite happy with that because it's a 10 year horizon. And the principle is very simple. It's following an all cap. In other words, buy the haystack, not the needle. I am also following the S&P 500 because historically it has pulled in around 10% a year for the last 30 years. So I'll follow that, but it is at a topping point. So I sold everything out. So I'm not losing any profit and then I'll keep buying back into it. Nice and simple. The emerging markets, I just dumped a little bit of money in there in case it explodes. If it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because it's just going to let that grow. And then I've got two bond pots that will smooth it out because bonds are historically flatline. Now that takes me into Darwin. Now with Darwin, ask me to do it. I started this mid-December. Um, so we're a little way into it as yet, three months, three and a half months, something like that. Um, I'm at 7.5% growth, which I'm quite happy with. It's ticking along quite well. Um, so it's like three months. So I had a bit of a rocky start to this because I was getting my head around it. And since then, I found my feet. So I'm happy with that. And I was rated to get seeded and I'm currently seeded at 25,000. The month has just ended and it's gonna rate in at uh, 30,000. So I've got 30,000 for this month getting added to it. Now I said I'd have a little uh, tool. So on average, so if we just look at this, so that's 25,000 and I'm just going to assume that I continue with the basic figures. And we'll put in what I've already got. Oh, fucking hell. Wishful thinking, eh? Wishful thinking, guys. <laughs> there we go. Um, 30,000, and we'll just drop that back to 3%. So my quarter payment would be 745. Now, a lot of people sniff at that. But that's just getting your feet going, getting a bit of traction and understanding what this is all about. Now you can start going down the route, saying, oh, I can do a percent a day, I can do 20%, 30% a month. You can, if your account's small, but you try doing it with a big account. It's not possible, guy. Um, it really isn't possible. It gets really hard the higher you go up the tree. Now, if you've done it, more power to you. But I'm telling you, it's it's really hard. But if you set your stall out sensibly, then you'd be fine. Now let's just go back to that rating calculator just a second. Now let's just say you pull in 5% a month, which seems to get banded around quite a bit. You'll get 40K payments, all right? So just pull that calculator back up. So that's 40, 40K. Okay. All right. And we're going to assume that it is 5% per month because you would need that to maintain it. Well, now you get an 1800 as your payment. Okay. Well, what about a little bit further? What if you can maintain a bit of a stronger balance? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Move this up to say 8%, 8%, 
Well, you're getting 75. But you need to maintain around 8%. So that's 85,000. Oh, that's 850,000, sorry. 85,000. Okay, but you need to maintain 8% a month. Well, now you're getting six grand. So it's now getting half decent money, but that is starting to get really hard, really hard. Let's have a look at the next puzzle and then we'll, we'll sort of look at something else. But let's just see you can get it onto the mythical 10, 12%. So you push it over there, you're getting 115,000. And if you push it up to 12%, you get 190. No, you don't. You get 265. So 265 at 12%. We're now getting into real hard trading conditions. Okay. Right, so you now get just off your seed allocations. If you can do 12% a month, they're gonna pay you thick end of 10 grand a month, all right? That's not to be sniffed at, right? But I do think that is really hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back over on itself. Current allocations are roughly 30,000 for below 5% a month, okay? So if I work this on the lowest criteria, so you're doing 3% a month, and you're thinking, ah, eh, that's my bonus. It's 9% a quarter, which annualized is really pretty darn good. But now let's just assume that they're starting to seed you with third-party investment money and they get you 1 million. Now that isn't out of the ordinary for these guys. What you're getting now is this, you know, you'll be getting tremendous amounts of money per month. So that'll pay you five grand a month. So that's, that should really be your monthly fee. So your monthly total fee, okay? So you'll get paid that, all right? Get this into two million. You're now getting 10 grand a month off doing just 3%. Say you get into 10 million of funding, you're now getting 45 grand a month. So really, this isn't as difficult as you think. And the way it's worked out is that that's the fee because you get 15% maintenance fee on, on that. And it would just be these divided by three. You know, very, very simple. Um, 45K. So where's, where am I going with this calculator? Um, like I say, I'll put it in the tools in the Discord for you to have. It'll also work out your wages as you're going anyway. So you can put your gains in and you can actually see what you're earning. But what I'm driving at is slow, steady wins the race. It always will win the race. If you're looking for boom and bust, you will definitely get boom and bust. Now, if, as an advice for working on the prop, I'll do a whiteboard Wednesday on prop this week. Um, if you've got any questions, drop it below and I'll try and answer them. The prop industry's marketing is shocking. It needs to be regulated. It needs to be pulled into line because it is like the Wild West. I spoke with a company this week who wanted me to promote them and I turned them down because they were promoting one day passing. Pass it in one day by doubling your account in one day. It is ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous. And this is why the regulators have a shining light. Now, if you look at the prop industry based on its drawdown and using the account balance as buying power, there's nothing wrong with it. 
as long as you stick to the rules. And the rules are whatever they lay out. There might be a lot limit. There could be a time factor limit of not trading. In other words, you, if you don't trade within 21 days, they'll just assume you're not using the account and close it. But there are workarounds. You just get 10p, open and close straight away. It resets the clock. You just got to follow the rules, guys. And a lot of you don't. You take shortcuts. And that's why there's arguments. Just the thought of a fat man on having a cup of coffee. And I just wanted to do this for you guys in the Discord and give you a few of my thoughts. So as always, treat well, keep your risk managed, but above all, do what you love. And the money will follow. See you on the next one. Thank you.